Are we live? Yeah, you're live. All right, we are live. The, the trash is outside, so we're going to shut the window. But happy August. Is it August already? It this is, is crazy. August. Happy August. I know. I know. Summer goes crazy. too quick. It does. And I want to give a little disclaimer before we, as we start this live. Okay, Anna just flew in from Sweden last night. So she's a little bit jet lagged. And I just came back from a week long meditation retreat. So I'm a little bit jet lagged too. <laughs> So it's we're gonna make for fun life. It is going to. We thought, you know, we're gonna make it real today <laughs> and just talk from our hearts and just, you know, we really love creativity and crafting. So it's a good place to be a little bit spacey, right? Let it all out. That's right. Oh, so I had decided last month that I wanted to make August our tropical month. I just said, you know what, let's just make everything tropical. It's the last month of summer. Some of the kids are already going back to school and we want to just hang on to that last bit of summer and the summer vibe and just feeling that, I don't know, that tropical yumminess. Yeah. So let, I said to my team, let's just make the whole month all about tropical. And it was interesting because when we did that, I went back in and looked at all the tropical projects that we've made for home decor or parties. Mm -hmm. And we have so much stuff. So not only do we have this huge plethora of crafts, we're adding, we're adding more, at least 30 if not more projects to this. So what should we talk about? What's on your list, Dan? We have to have a little guideline today <laughs> because we're a little spacey. Well, I think uh, on the tropical theme, we talked about, you know, different parties and it's such a fun yes. end of summer uh, yes. party theme. So whether it's a luau or a tropical party, we have mm -hmm. a lot of decorations, anything we from do. DIY palm trees mm -hmm. to these adorable lit lanterns. These are brand new. So these are coming out. I think they're tomorrow's. Yeah. 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 This will be tomorrow's post. So, you know, you can cut these. You can add bigger lights underneath. These are tiny ones, but you can add bigger lights underneath so that you can see the light coming through. But I think our paper lanterns are one of our favorite things. And our readers, they love our lanterns. Yes, yeah. and this mm -hmm. is such a fun thing to uh, not only use for party decor, but also to bring into your home decor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to just light up your mantle in yeah. the evening, yeah. it's really fun. Yeah, so other parties, we had quite a few beautiful, we had a, um, a, a party like a, a wedding, I just forgot the word now. So we're live, so we're just gonna go for it. <laughs> A bridesmaid party or a bridal bridal shower. shower. Thank you. <laughs> so we had a bridal shower last summer that was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it was actually for one of our teammates who got married. So it was also very real to us. And we did a lot around that. And again, we're going to be adding one thing I know we're going to add this year or this, yeah, this round. We have a whole mermaid party coming and it is so cute. So Krista cute, is yeah. working on that right now. We're going to have every single detail that you'll need for a mermaid party for any anyone, your little girl, little boy, whoever loves mermaids, even adults, you know, yeah, even, you me. Love mermaid, even you. Yeah, and then we have these fun little additions we're adding. These are our flamingo straws and yeah, well, palm train straws. straws. And all of this will come together. Right now they're a bit um, here and there, but at the end of the month it will all come together as well. Um, yeah, so. so some really pretty so um, table centerpieces. Table centerpieces, which also kind of crosses right over into our home decor. Yes. So this is a brand new hibiscus. And I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite hibiscus. This is made out of the frosted paper versus the crepe paper. We do have several crepe paper hibiscus as well. But Megan made this and I think she really knocked it out of the park. She used the pan pastels in the center to get that gradation it is just so beautiful and you guys know that you know we love our crepe paper but there's something about frosted paper or this lighter weight paper that it's just so sculptural so this will be coming up this next I month as well. uh, it's so fun to see how we continue to improve i know it, it, it seems sense. like it yeah. like we've made a hibiscus but now this one's even Better. more yeah more yeah. elevated uh -huh, it yeah. is so more, what about home, more home decor? Let's talk more about that. Yeah, so um, I, some of the trends I saw a lot of in Sweden are, that we've talked a lot about before, but it's sustainability. Mm -hmm. And um, we can pull our list over. Yeah, no, well, <laughs> I forgot the word, biophilia, which is oh. kind of the relationship between humans and nature. And okay. we've talked a lot about bringing biophilia. nature Biophilia. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we've talked a lot about bringing nature in in terms of mm -hmm. plants, but it's also, we're seeing a lot of wood and stone mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. home decor. 
Um, and in terms of sustainability, I think one of the big things people are really talking about now is, for instance, the costs or the what's happening to our earth when we're flying in um, tulips, for instance, from the Netherlands. I mean, they're beautiful, but the amount of poison that's going out into the earth from flying them here. Right, yeah, yes. that makes sense. So, yeah. and that really brings us back to, I love fresh flowers, even though, you know, paper flowers are always in my life, but to get a bouquet of fresh flowers is, is wonderful, especially when it's from someone's garden. Yes. And just a, two days ago, a friend came over and she had clipped some blooms from her garden and it, it, it almost had more richness to it because it grew right here and there was a there was a personal I don't know just a there was a, a this infusion of her person into it because she brought it from her garden yes and I think mm -hmm. it's also so fun to actually use some flowers that are in season yeah absolutely yes yeah these are hydrangeas which are really really beautiful and then of course you know right now we, we live in Oregon so we're not gonna have tropical flowers so should we have them shipped over from Hawaii or should we make them? Exactly. This is one of, we're, you know, going to home decor and bringing in that greenery or green, that stone and wood, whatever, into our, into our homes. I feel when I do home decor that that natural element is extremely grounding to me and I need grounding because I tend to be a little up here. So having that really natural element in my space is important and having green in my space is important and I'm not very good at keeping plants alive. Everybody knows that. I, I know. guess, I, yeah, I guess I'm just a little airy so I forget. I, I'm, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna, that's an old story. We're gonna change that. I'm gonna, plants and I are well, gonna. Well, you don't need to because you make them so. Well, that too. Out of paper and they look amazing. <laughs> These don't give me oxygen, but I do love them. <laughs> but this, this is probably one of my favorites and this is also a Megan um, leaf. It's not, it's a plant, I guess, but it's a palm leaf. And this is when she started working on using the Mod Podge to transform the crepe paper. And I have kept this, there's like three or four of these, and I keep putting them into different bouquets. They make beautiful wreaths. So I really encourage any of you who want to have that evergreen, but elevated evergreen that's not um, you know, plastic or silk, to try one of these. And it's so usable over and over again. And even though it's not a live plant or a cut plant, which also makes me sad to cut plants because then they die, there's something that is very nature. Can, you yes, know, about and this. what I love about it, it's not a throwaway. Right. Yes. Which you, you know you have to throw away cut flowers when they die, but right. this is something you can use it's and reuse and. and yeah. Yeah. So let's look at. We have a couple more things here yes. too. Yes. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, this is today's you can post. Tell I have one in my hair. I guess you could go anyway. I for the photos I turn it this way, but you could you could have it any direction. It's just I love this off center. Um, so this wreath itself was a project that was done, I believe, a year ago, and then Megan made these beautiful. Look how and you have one in yes. your hair too. The plumeria, which is a tricky flower to make, you guys, or to design. It's not tricky to make. It's tricky to design. And I was watching her go through the process of figuring out how to make these petals, you know, fold and 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 really bloom the way that she did. Such a good job. So adding the plumeria, we took out the orchids and put it, put in the plumeria just to kind of show you some options on how to use these. And then Anna's wearing one in her hair yes. today. Yes, and one thing that I did want to add is that we are constantly, when or we, when the designers are making these, they're constantly... You can say we, that's good. <laughs> refining them. Yes. And changing up the patterns and just really looking for the easiest and the most perfect way of replicating mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. and, and, and a flower that a beginner can make or it's beautiful enough for an advanced maker as well. Yes. So, yeah. And then here's a cute little plant. This one, we I think we brought this one in last month and this is something that Krista made. And <clears throat> I just love it because of the cute little stripes. I, I'm trying to remember the name of this plant and I should have looked it up ahead Drawing of blank, yeah. I'm drawing a blank. But um, it just has these pink stripes so it has a tropical flavor to it that I think just really matches. I'm... I'm as, down in the studio, down in our photo studio, we are getting a huge growing plant. We're, we, we're going to need a paper plant greenhouse soon. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> they're all so beautiful and I want them together. Um, yeah, so that's our tropical month. Yes, yeah. So stay tuned because we have so many really fun projects and just I feel like they're so vibrant and delightful 
that it's what we need in August as we transition. Yeah, yes. as we transition to the fall. So that's our tropical month that we wanted to talk about. But what else do we have going on? We have back to school. We have back to school. Yes, a lot yeah. of parents, including myself, getting ready for back to school. Mm-hmm. Um, I also want to talk about member make. Yes. Oh, let's do a little quick. Should we do this oh, little yes. back to school? So yeah. we, we didn't bring a whole lot of things to show off for back to school, but we do have a lot of projects on our site. You know, you can do these printable labels for their binders. You can do little notes for their lunches. You make, you know, make it a nice transition for the kids too. And they're used to seeing you every day for lunch. And now you want to just send them that little bit of love in their lunch bag. So we have a lot of things for you guys to go explore. And Anna's collected a few of those and then you can do a deep dive too. But we also have a couple of things for teachers. So oh I'm yeah, sure quite check a those few, out. Yeah. Quite a few things for teachers when they're getting ready to, you know, invite these kids back into their classrooms. Oh, I'm just all over the place today. Okay, but this is probably one of my I'm handing this to you. Okay. <laughs> the, the Vanna, here Vanna. Um, so these are probably two of my favorite little projects, and they're actually quite simple. If you have a sewing machine, you can do this. If you want to hand stitch them, you can hand stitch them. So this one is a, it's a pencil case, and they're made out of the thick wool felt, and then just all the little bits and pieces. The zipper is, you know, it's pretty easy to sew in because it's a top stitch zipper, so there's not a whole lot. You just have to make sure you can tack it with glue or something to um, keep it in place before you stitch it. Um, yeah, so these are just adorable, and these were designed by Krista. Yeah, she's our queen of cute, so she really gave us a good dose of cute here. Yes, member make. Yeah, move on to that. Yeah. All right, so we're keeping, um, we're we're continuing to do crepe paper flowers for member make until we have more time to do more than one member make, right? Because it's just such a hot topic. So I wanted to do a really beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid plant, um, not only to explore uh, doing more of the Mod Podge on crepe paper method, but also to show you guys in live form how we take our crepe paper flowers and make them into actual plants. Mm -hmm. You know, how we plant them, what sort of method we do to keep them in the container. So we're making that right now, and this is going to be, uh, Megan and I are working on it together, it's going to be the best orchid plant we have made yet. Can't and wait. yes, I love keeping live orchids in my house, so I'm looking for this to replace that. It's going to be- you can't keep anything alive. <laughs> well, I can keep orchids alive, because they, they just need- Low maintenance. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's going to be pretty big about this big. So we, we're excited for you guys to join us. Uh, we'll, you'll get an email for that, but Anna's going to tell, I think it's the 16th, is yes, that right? August okay. 16th. August 16th is so the date that we've set aside for that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Whew. Anything else? No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, we did want to talk really quickly. A lot of people uh, reached out oh. about the tropical camp. Yes, so that is going live next week. We're, we, you'll get an email uh, letting you know how to go in and purchase the kit. And then as soon as you get your kit, the videos will be live and ready. The, I, I am so in love with this project. I've been watching the editing being done. You know, we had the two girls sitting here with me doing this these crafts and it was so delightful just seeing them. Oh, they had so much fun. Yeah, and I want to share that with, you know, all the, the kids in your life who would love to connect with this type of crafting as well. I'm, I'm really excited about it. So watch for your email on that. We'll announce where you can go and purchase it and we'll just see what happens and yeah. see how many people, you know, jive with this sort of program because we'd like to do more of these craft camps. I think it's something that's needed out there. Yeah, so on it on that mm -hmm. note, we have a limited number of participants. Yes. But we do offer a discount for our members. Yes, we offer a discount for our members um, so that you can join us. Yes, yeah. exactly. All right, you guys. We'll Thanks for hanging 16. in there with us. We're good. We're, Anna and I will be landing maybe on Monday. We'll be back to Earth. <laughs> we won't be running on three hours of sleep. Right, exactly. So love you guys. Uh, we'll see you in, well, we'll see you the rest of August, and I can't wait to see all your great projects, all right? We'll talk to you next month. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.